welcome back um so i've got my tips on i thought i would do a random completely random acrylic um christmasy nail set well i'm it's not normal christmas colors okay it's more like whites blues and i want to use this like rose gold foil this nail is uh, just a full cover these are acrylic um tips that i just cut down because they're like extra extra long so i'll probably speed this bit up um let me know in the comments how you're all doing so this bit i am just putting a clear 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 bead on the nail just this just kind of helps protect your natural nail that's what it does you're super zoomed in i didn't even realize that might have been a bit close so i've got this new desk um and honestly it's i don't understand like it's really hard for me to do nails on this new desk the reason being it's really high like i've even looked at the legs because i thought maybe um like maybe it's the leg you can like move and um, like adjust to the like to the correct height is not you can't do that the chair that i use like my desk chair it's actually as high as it possibly can go i actually said i was going to speed this up but i'm talking um yes yeah, is as high as it possibly can go so it's actually really hard for me to do nails with this desk um i've got two other desk chairs um one that's in the spare room which is an office um and another one that's behind me that i use at my other desk which is where my laptop is and i do all like the press on nails that i box up and things like that um yeah i tried that chair and that one um doesn't work for this either so this desk honestly whoever made this desk it's really nice it's glass it's marble but whoever made it really really needs to like realize that not everybody is this tall <coughs> i mean i'm five foot five or five foot four one or what one of them i can't remember but yeah it's just i'm just a bit like mm, not loving it um it's a bit high but believe it or not, I put this desk together because I just get buzzing about new things and I, I get really overexcited um, and I chucked my other desk away, literally like took it all apart, bashed it together um, because we're going to pay somebody to come and collect it and um, saves me taking it to the tip. Um, yeah, now I'm like, oh, I really wish I didn't do that because my other desk was an Ikea one. It was a bit battered from acrylic sticking to it, all sorts. Um, yeah, so I'm a bit, I'm a bit gutted. Um, the next one I colour I'm going in with is Nail Nails Metallic Blue. Now I love this colour. Oh my god, I love it. But massive, but it is really powdery, like really powdery. Um, so I do struggle getting a decent sized bead. Like, I just, I, I really struggle. Now what I'm gonna try and do, which is something I i've never done okay never ever ever done and i've done it wrong already <laughs> oh no um i was gonna try and do like a color block actually i have done it before um about a year ago i haven't done it since because i hated it hated it did not like it i'm gonna do them quite chunky i think because doing them a bit thinner is gonna be probably a bit difficult for me considering i can't i just i can't do them um ignore that top bit i don't know what i'm going to do with that because obviously i've placed it in the wrong bit um now the thing is with doing these um like a color block you have to wait for it to dry before you can file down the side to make sure it's straight and then go in with your next colour. If I go in with my next colour now, it's all just going to mush together. So that is the downfall with a colour block. And it does get, it is quite chilly in my beauty room, slash summer house, slash nail room, slash office. 
just those loads of slashes, okay? Um, yeah, so it does kind of get a little bit, eh, eh, you know, a bit like that. So this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a base coat, if I can find the base coat. I mean, I'm just going to assume that that's dry. Um, so I'm going to get a base coat. I have never, ever, ever encapsulated like anything like a base coat or anything into acrylics. I've never done that. But what I'm going to do is, okay, hear me out. I'm going to get some of this lush pink. Oh my, ow, that hurt. Um, foil. Oh God, I should, probably shouldn't have used this to pick it up, but I have. Oh, why, why have I, why have I done this now? And I'm using this brush, which I didn't want to use. So let me get rid of that. I didn't mean to use that one. Well, I did, but I regret it. Okay. See, I'm so stingy. I'm still trying to pick up bits that. This is the only thing with foil. Um, I, I don't like it. <laughs> Actually, no, I love foil, but I don't like how it comes in chunks and you try to break it. See what I mean? You try to break it apart and you just can't. It's really difficult. Um, Yeah, it's, it's not fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm doing this and then underneath the nail, I might try and do like that um cracked icicle kind of effect. So I don't want to much of this because I kind of want it to be like cracked and then I'm going to use this nice pinky colour to fade it down so I'm gonna I am going to cure that I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds oh I wonder if the lamp will help that acrylic cure it probably won't but I'm hoping it does because <laughs> it's going to take well not cure but set it's going to take ages just pop that back to one side um, yeah, it's going to take ages to, to harden and I need to file it and go in with, you know, the next, the next colour. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to do this icicle kind of effect. I'm going to have some cling film here. And I'm, I do want to cut this. I don't need this much. So I could just rip it, to be honest. These scissors are a bit crap. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to rip it. Ugh. get off okay so for this i pr will probably use a top coat i'm thinking because it's not going to leave a sticky kind of residue okay so i'm just going to get my top coat and go under the nail like this like so but i want it on there quite thick Like that. This is all off the top of my head. I haven't planned at all what I was going to do. Not at all. This is just like, oh, just do this. Just do this. So I'm winging it, okay? I am doing this as I am going along. So I'm just taking some little tweezers and I am pushing this all together. Now, I like it to be really, like, really lumpy. I don't just want a few little bits, okay? I want it to be lumpy as much as I can. So if I need to go in with a second time, I will. So I need to cure this for 30 seconds. Okay, so let's take it off. Oh, my God, that was stuck. Okay. Okay. Um... I think that's absolutely fine because when it's top coated and everything else, you'll be able to see it a lot better. You'll be able to see it a lot better. So what I'm going to do now, that's still rubbery. Um, I am going to go in with this. Oh, what colour is it? It's on the bottom. Pretty in pink. This is from Nell and Beauty Network. It's by Versa Pro. Um, and I'm going to try... Don't want too much. Kind of like fade it downwards. Okay. 
like that. Uh, this is actually like nerve wracking for me because I just don't do stuff like this. So it is actually really out of my comfort zone and I'm really nervous because it is cold in here. Like my my hands, my, my hands, my hands, God, um, my hands are genuinely, they, they do feel a little bit like ice, which yeah, not, not good. So whenever I do longer nails like this, I always meant the make them really bulky. So I'm trying my hardest not to make them bulky. Um, and you know, I'm trying to keep that shape. I know you can file it, but I hand file. And honestly, it's a killer. You know, you're hand filing and it's taken such a long time. I can't believe how cold it is in here, to be honest. And the reason why it's cold in here, obviously, you know, it's November, it's the middle of November. But the reason why it's cold is because when my partner, oh, uh, me and my partner built this, but he mainly done it by scratch. It wasn't like a bought one. Um, we didn't put, we, he, I shall say, didn't put that stuff in um, that keeps it warm. Installation, is it? Insulation? Installation, installation? Whatever it's called. We didn't do that. Um... And I, do you know what though, I'm actually really glad we didn't because in the summer we have to leave the windows open um, because when I say it gets hot, it gets hot, like it's actually quite dangerous how hot it gets. Um, yeah, so we do have to leave the windows open in the summer. Now if we did have um, insulation then it probably would have been even hotter. And when I say it's hot in the summer, it is over 30 degrees in this summer house. It's horrible for me to do nails because it just gets ridiculously hot. And as you can see, this is still like moving. Oh, I've got a really itchy chin. Oh. This is still moving because it's so cold in here. It's just like taking such a long time to set. So I'm having to keep moulding it. But I'm hoping, see, can you hear that? Still rubbery, it's not clicking, which means it's still rubbery. Gone take ages, unfortunately. Oh, it's just gonna I take don't know whether I want to use gold or just some snowflakes. I don't know, I don't know. But I'm gonna do, I'll do all white. Actually, what I'm going to do is I might do it like a nail, a nail bed. Okay, so all I've done is I put the white one on there, but I forgot to press record and I've just filed it. Cap uh, capsulated that one with clear acrylic and I've just filed that. That's all I've done. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the next blue one here. Oh, you can barely pick any of this stuff up. It's so, it's so like powdery. It's the only way I can explain it. Now, it doesn't matter if you get it on the white because you're gonna file anyway, so it doesn't matter if you get it on top of the white, that's what I mean. I've got stuff in the way. Um, yeah, you, you're gonna file it off, so don't worry if you get it on the top of the white. It's absolutely fine. Now, I, you do want, you don't want it to be flat, you kind of want like a wall. You, you need that wall to be able to file up against. Uh, it's gone blurry. Um, you can't really see, but sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, you need that wall to be able to file up against it. So I'll leave that like that. I'm going to pray it doesn't move. Um, that would be nice if it didn't. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get white and just put white on this bit. The white I'm using is Savaland. 
Shabaland. I'm too worried I'm going to tip this finger back and it's all going to go back. I'm hoping it doesn't. Um, yeah, so this is just White by Savaland. Again, don't worry if you get it on the pink because you're going to go back in and file. It doesn't, doesn't like me and I'm just going to pat this everywhere. Like, look at my brush. Look at the state of it. Your brush shouldn't look like that. And I'm, li I'm just making sure it's right up against that wall. That's why I am doing that. Uh, clean that out. I've, I know that there's a lot of acrylic in there because it's gone really fat, my brush has. So I know that there's a lot of acrylic in there. And it is white acrylic as well. I don't know why, why white acrylic does it, it just does. I'm not too bothered about the shape because I will file anyway. Like, look. Oh, can you just see how, like, frazzled it's gone? Look. Oh, please focus. Okay, it doesn't want to focus, but I'm just going to put it in some monomer and just wipe it on a clean bit of um, this paper stuff just because the more you wipe it over the same spot, you are going to get acrylic stuck in there right oh my little fingers getting in the way so we're gonna leave that one to set this one's still setting this one i'm gonna do all blue i'm gonna try to anyway right i'm gonna soak my brush and i'm gonna try my hardest to pick oh, to pick up a big bead watch like look at the state of my brush okay it worked this time there's a hair in there Oops, something that's probably too much but it's okay I can because we need to cap this but I can take some of it off anyway so this is just more like a color for the background of the nail because we will want to cap this so I am going to take some of this off as well I'm surprised I managed to get a bead that big, to be honest. You really have to soak your brush in like really powdery ones to be able to pick up a decent sized bead. Otherwise, you just can't get one. My little finger is my worst nightmare. I can net like, look, look at my brush. Oh my God. Um, yeah, my, like, oh, I, I just don't know what to do. I'm hoping I can just carry on. Um, yeah, my little finger is my worst nightmare because it's so small. I do struggle with it. I really do. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to even attempt to get any closer to that cuticle. I am going to flatten it down a little bit though. Um, like, look how sparse it's gone. Really? You really want to test my patience? Like right now, when I'm on the last nail. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, that's dry. That's still tacky. Let me clean out my brush again and really? I'll be back. Oh, piss off. Really hard to um, use doing nails because it's so high. I just cannot for the life of me. Do you know what? I think that's just going to have to do. And what I'm going to do is the bottom part. I am going to, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, I'm going to put like a, um, a snowflake on there. So this bit is going to be the hardest because I need to get this bit by my cuticle. Um, yeah. So that bit's going to be the hardest just here. I'm not, I mean, I can file it if it is touching my skin slightly, but, you know, I'd, I'd rather not have it touching my skin and drying by my skin. But I don't even know. Like I said, I've not done, I think I've done this once, which was a few years ago and it was on a practice nail. 
which is different to doing it on yourself, you know. So this one might not turn out as nice. <laughs> it's definitely not going to turn out as nice. So the bottom part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of clear acrylic. Going to just, that's way too much, put that like that. I don't know why I'm doing this right now. I definitely shouldn't have done it yet. And I got these from my Shein. Ah, okay. I've just noticed that this isn't going to fit. So this is a good time to use this cool thing i don't actually know how to use it i've not used it before um do you put it in upside down what and then you put this in i don't know if i've got it the right way or not or is it the oh wait there i think i might have done it see it's not really bent prop like properly I need to leave enough room because I'm being impatient I need to leave enough room that I can file that bit so I might just leave that like that um that is dry so let's give this one this will probably move it usually does so let's give this one a bit of a file Sorry, I had to file it off camera. I just could not do it. See, I told you it would move. Just stay. Literally just stay. Um, yeah, I had to file it off camera. I couldn't. This one is still going to be absolutely like... Uh, I'm just going to see if I can just do that. And just push it up. I am so impatient. I haven't got time to like sit here waiting for this. I just haven't. And this is what happens when it's so cold. It just like when it's so warm, it your mono um, acrylic dries really quick, and when it's really cold, it takes ages for your acrylic to dry. So keep that in mind. Okay, so I'll go. At, well, I can top. I will show you a bit of how. Well, not how I do it. It's probably completely wrong. Um, but I am just gonna cap this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I mean, kind of dry, kind of not, but look at the state of it. So I'm just going to go in. I mean, this is already coming off this bottom one because it's not completely set. Sometimes, though, if you do it gently enough, sometimes the heat from the fire helps it dry. Um, see how it's all just like peeling off where it's not dry. I'm sorry, but I am really impatient. So we're just, I'm just going to go for it. Okay, so filed it all. Clear acrylic. Haven't filed this one yet. Let's cap.
a completely flat nail so I am just going to build up that apex and I'll be back. Okay so I filed, uh, capped and top coated and that's what they look like. I mean I absolutely hate them, I absolutely hate them and you know what, I'm a qualified nail technician, oh my god. Um, yeah, it is because it's cold in here. And I mean, like, my my hands feel like ice. This is just a press-on now. Just done some blue lines on there. Nothing, nothing much. But, um, take my advice. Do not think, oh, it's all right. I want to do some acrylics. It's freezing cold in here. It is freezing in here. It's not, like, overly, like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, this is so cold, this is so cold. Like, my toes are a little bit numb and my hands are really red um, because it's really cold. So yeah, the the tips and stuff like they they hurt, um. But it's not unbearable. But take my advice: do not think it's okay to do acrylics when it's freezing cold because it's just, it's just not gonna work. This has took me over an hour, um, which well probably even longer than an hour, just to do like the not everything, not like putting the tips on, not that's that one there. This one's really bulky because of that gold thing um yeah just the design took over an hour um yeah but that's what they look like i'm not a lover at all freaking hate them this uh, this just doesn't even look like um like like i don't know a color block and it is because it i just i was too impatient to sit there and wait to be able to file so i i was filing most of them when they was they, they, when they were still quite wet and i was pulling half the acrylic off and yeah, so um, don't do that. Don't do what I did. Just don't. It's not a good idea. It was a bad idea. But thank you for watching this awful crap rubbish vile video. Um, hope you didn't enjoy it because I know you probably didn't because they are disgusting. <laughs> um, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, I mean, this is probably making you not want to subscribe. You're like probably run, 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 you know? But please do. Please do. I do loads more nails like this, honestly. <laughs> um, thanks for watching this awful video. And I'm sorry it was awful. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.